Dallas is more than just a city. It's a collection of diverse, thriving neighborhoods, all each offering their own unique flavor, fun, and a healthy dose of the unexpected. We'll be visiting some of the hidden gems and all-time favorites these neighborhoods have to offer in order to hopefully inspire you to set out on your own Dallas neighborhood adventure. Join us as we experience Dallas. Dallas is home to the largest contiguous arts district in the country. The Dallas Arts District spreads over 68 acres just north of downtown. This district has been evolving since its initial development in the 1970s, becoming home to multiple art museums and galleries, performance venues, green spaces, and award-winning restaurants and bars. The Arts District serves as Dallas's cultural hub, encouraging everyone to explore their creative side and learn more about the world around them. On top of being one of the most creative spaces in Dallas, the Arts District is also one of the most walkable. Home to Clyde Warren Park, visitors have access to a deck park that covers more than five acres and hosts tons of fun activities like yoga and outdoor movie screenings. Today we'll show you just what makes this Dallas neighborhood so special. Saver is located right here in beautiful Clyde Warren Park and is walking distance from all of the art museums and performance venues in the area. Saver is the perfect date night location to sit back and enjoy a nice dinner in a modern, sleek environment. It can be a great spot for weekend brunch or afternoon cocktails as well. The menu is created by executive chef John Coleman, who aims to provide guests with a modern twist to beloved American pub classics. Chef Coleman believes that food brings people together which gave him the inspiration for Savor. It's not just by chance that Savor is located in the center of Dallas, giving people from all over the city a convenient place to enjoy a great meal and connect. We spoke with him to learn more about this amazing restaurant. Tell me about the concept behind Savor. Really what we wanted to focus in on is having that neighborhood family living room environment with a heightened awareness on our food and beverage offer. One of my favorite things is watching people come in here and lack of use from cell phones, iPads, everything. People seem to disconnect from their social media and connect with each other. What kind of food can people expect to find here? We love our American style cuisine. We love the evolution of where the American food has gone from the chili bray short rib over this beautiful aged whiskey cheddar mac and cheese to a little bit of our new world uh, presence to the multiple shared appetizers that people can just sit down and enjoy in a bar environment and relax with a great glass of wine. Um, there's really something for everyone and if you don't see something, we can create something for you on the fly. Chef, thank you so much for being with us today. We really do appreciate it. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Coming in at over 500,000 square feet, the Dallas Museum of Art is one of the largest art museums in the United States and it welcomes nearly a million guests every year. Throughout the years, the DMA has hosted some of the most notable art in the world and their exhibitions have featured everything from priceless Egyptian artifacts to the works of Rembrandt and other great masters. The DMA also hosts several monthly programs, such as Late Night at the DMA, a fun evening event featuring musical performances, movie screenings, family activities, and more. The DMA's Kimberly Daniel filled us in on her love for the DMA and why the Arts District is a neighborhood like no other. Tell us a little bit about the history of the DMA. Yeah, the museum was founded in 1903, so we've been around for over 100 years. We have 24,000 works of art that span 5,000 um, years of creativity. And uh, we actually moved down to the Dallas Arts District. We were the first institution here in the 1980s. We have notable collections in African art, Indonesian art, American silver, and so many others. As the city's art museum, we want to make the best of art accessible to everyone. And one way that we do this is through free general admission. So every day of the year that we are open, you're able to view these um, amazing works of art for free. The museum hosts thousands of programs a year for all visitors. We host DMA Late Nights, which is an evening full of programs, talks, tours, music. We also host a series called DMA Arts and Letters Live. What do you love about being located in the Arts District? Well, the DMA loves being here in the Dallas Arts District. We were the anchoring institution, um, so we have enjoyed over the last 30 plus years welcoming all of our neighbors from the visual and performing arts. Kimberly, thank you so much for having us here. It was an absolute pleasure. We enjoyed having you. Our last stop is the AT&T Performing Arts Center. The venue opened in the fall of 2009 after more than 30 years of planning. The building's architecture alone is enough to amaze visitors. 
Architects from both London and New York helped conceive the iconic design. The Art Center provides both indoor and outdoor shows year-round, including the Broadway series and contemporary dance and music, as well as other touring and community performances. The Center's mission is to provide a public gathering place that strengthens community and fosters creativity through the presentation of performing arts. We spoke with President and CEO Doug Curtis to get the inside scoop on this cultural landmark. Tell us a little bit about how the AT&T Performing Arts Center came to be. That's uh, my pleasure. So about 35 years ago, our city leaders had the vision uh, to want to turn this into, you know, a, a world-class area for uh, performing and visual arts. The architecture of the center is very special, uh, designed by two Pritzker Prize-winning architects, second to none, uh, not only in beauty, but in the performance spaces and what they've created here. Over 65 world premieres have occurred here at the center since our opening in 2009. If you want to see the greatest art you can see, it's right here. You don't have to go to New York, you don't have to go to Chicago. It all comes right here to Dallas. What do you love about being located in the Arts District? For people who love inspiring art, uh, they couldn't pick a better city to be in, and they couldn't pick a better time in our city's history to be here. Doug, thank you so much for being here today and telling us more about the AT&T Performing Arts Center. Well, it's been my pleasure. Thank you. Art is so much more than a painting or a sculpture. It's a direct expression of creativity and human potential that helps to expand our worldview. The Arts District is Dallas's commitment to our city's creative potential and our world's talent. So, come on out and explore your creative side. You'll be so glad you did.